Hey Canucks fans and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Thursday, November the 30th. Tonight the Canucks will finally wrap up their six-game road trip and they're playing in Nashville against the Red Hot Predators. The Predators are a very complete and deep team, quickly ascending the standings. They're one of the best teams in the league right now and they're solid throughout their lineup. On In goal, goaltender Pekka Rene has picked up his game. On D, one of the most dynamic decors in the league led by Yossi and Subban. And up front, a lot of gifted talent gifted scores and guys like Forsberg, Johansson, and then newly acquired Kyle Turris. We, I'm sure I'll recap the game tomorrow. Today I want to talk about Derek Dorsett. We found out about an hour and a half ago that he will be retiring from playing hockey for this season and likely for his career. Unfortunately, he has another herniated disc in his neck. This one is apparently adjacent and separate to the one he had surgery on. And we know the story about Derek Dorsett. He had surgery last year. Um, basically missed a lot of 2016 as he had um, surgery to repair a herniated disc in his neck. He worked his butt off throughout the end of last season and throughout the off season to get cleared medically and he started off the season so well. He was probably the, the main reason why the Canucks got off to a, a very good and very surprising start. For the first month he was leading the team in, in goals and in points and and it was just amazing. It was, it was a wonderful surprise and I think players, coaches, and fans alike were inspired by what he was doing, especially given the serious surgery that he was coming off of. He's had 515 games in his career, so he's played many, many years. He's played only, actually over 515 games. It's only been three teams. It's been New York, Columbus, and now the Canucks for the last few years. And who knows what the future will hold. He, um, I think he and the team, they'll release separate statements. They did small statements this morning. But I'm sure as we go, as we know the extent, as they have a surgery date and all that, um, there'll be more formal statements and more, more thorough and detailed statements. But for now, it was nice to hear from his doctors in the statement the, the, the statement this morning. It was nice to hear from Derek Dorsett himself, and it was nice to hear from GM Jim Benning. So you look at this, and you look at what he brought to the team, and obviously what he brought to the team is a reflection of probably who he is as a person. Obviously, I don't know him personally. But this, these are, when things like this happen, it really puts things in perspective. And yes, you, we are grateful for everything he brought to the hockey team and to his leadership in the room, the way he stuck up for teammates on the ice, the way he played uh, without compromise. But it's times like this where you think bigger than hockey and it, like it's, it puts things in perspective. So you look at him as a husband and as a father to, to, in a young family. And when you hear things like he was worried about not being able to bend over to play with his kids, not being able to run around, that's sad, that's frightening as a, as a father of three myself, although my kids are a little older than his, because I'm older than him. Um, yeah, that, that's a frightening sentiment for sure and a frightening thought. So I guess what I'm saying here is, is um, you know, more important than what he did on the ice and more important than who he was for the Canucks as a hockey player, I am grateful and I'm hopeful that he finds peace in his in his non-hockey life that is in his primary vocation as a husband and as a father and hopefully that his hockey career has has paved the way has given him some financial stability where now he can take care of himself and his family and i think that goes without saying that as much as i love the canucks as much as we all love the canucks as fans um we're, it's more important that that Derek Dorsett gets healthy, gets better, and is there not just for the the ten to twelve or fifteen years, whatever that he's played hockey, but rather for the fifty or sixty years he's going to live on going forward, so he can be there. And not to sound so grim or not to sound sent sentimental, but it's true. And as a dad, this 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 news really hit me hard today. Um, anytime you have to quit what you love doing because of something that was really out of your control, it's it's I'm sure it's devastating. But he's got a whole life to look forward to. And a lot of that life might include being with the Canucks in some sort, uh, as a consultant or as a coach or as a scout or whatever it may be. So what will this do for the team? I, this has a, a chance, not that they need this, but it has a chance to galvanize the team, to bring them together, to inspire the team. You know, um, I've already seen a tweet from the Canucks earlier this morning saying, win this game for Dorset." So I, I think you can hear that. They can use this as a rallying cry. They can use it as inspiration, as motivation. But regardless, I think the Canucks, um, we should all be grateful for what Derek Dorsett has given, not only to the Vancouver Canucks, but to the NHL community as a whole. And lastly, we hear teams, uh, we hear terms like heart and soul and grateful and honored. And I think all those words certainly apply, whether that's talking about Derek Dorsett being the heart and soul of the team, giving his heart and soul, 
or the fact that he said it was he was grateful and he was honored to to play in the NHL for so long. So God bless you, Derek Dorsett. God bless you and your family. We pray for um, a, a very safe and and successful sur- surgery, which I, I presume you'll need soon, and then of course for a quick and and speedy and safe recovery and healing. All right, Canucks fans, love to hear what you think about Derek Dorsett. Do you think this is going to affect the team and what are your hopes for him? I think I know, but what are your hopes for him going forward? We'd love to leave your comments below. And if you haven't done so already, I invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Have a great day. Canucks in Nashville. God bless and go Canucks go.